What's happening, homies? Welcome back to Bite Size Clips. I'm Dope, and this is the first hour of The Wall Mustn't Fall. Uh, this is a brand new game that just came out on Steam. I don't have the Steam up and ready. We're going to jump right into it instead this time. Um, but uh, see how it looks. See what people think. I've been playing it a little bit. I've been sick the past couple of days, so I haven't been able to make the videos that I wanted to. A um, few games I got coming up, but uh, I'm going to click everything off. Reset everything so we play it like uh like we're just starting out. Okay? Just like uh this is a very just like it's our very first game. But uh I've been sick, ain't been able to upload like I wanted to, so uh this is me trying to catch up now. When you first come into the game, you have two characters. One is Archer, the other is Stonemason. How they differ is the skills. The Archer has frenzy, increased archer's attack and reload speed by four hundred percent for two and a half seconds. It's on a fifteen second cooldown. He also has a passive. This is passive. It doesn't tell you that anyway. You just have to guess it or figure it out on your own. Uh, he's dead. Shoot again to make sure. What I think that is, is it just uh, shoots a second, shoots two bullets instead of one sometimes. It's not all the time. It just happens whenever. Uh, he's also of the marksman class. And this is if you get two marksmen, you'll have all marksmen gain an additional 50% crit damage. And then if you have six marksmen, weapon training, all units gain an additional 100% crit uh, you can pick which weapon you want to start with. I like the bow because we're going with the archer. Uh, let me show you the stone mason first. He has a field repair. Immediately repair the castle for 15% of its max HP. 20 second cooldown. So he can just repair the castle. The castle is what you're trying to defend. It can take damage and it has health. So if you can keep repairing it, you can, get, you can last longer. He has two passives. One is whenever the castle is hit, it gains one armor for five seconds. Second one is castle HP is increased by 15%. He is of the Constructor class. Uh, have two of them and they'll heal the castle by 15% max health at the start of every wave. Every single wave they'll heal for 15%. Combine that with your um, ability. This is an ability. You have to activate this. Uh, that's a 30% every, uh, every 20 seconds you can heal it for about. Alright, so we're going with the bow. And then you can pick a item. That's a field repair. It'll repair the castle. This is a broken arrow. And that's some bombs. I usually go with something. I'm probably just going to sell it sell it first. But I'll take the uh, field repair. And here we go. We're jumping into it. We'll take the field repair for now. I think that's worth more. Alright. So now this is me. I'm the only one in here shooting. Uh, I am shooting myself. I can hit Z. And it'll auto target. But if you hit Z. You are nowhere near as effective as you would be. If you were playing by yourself. So I'm going to let this go because it's not a hard round right now. Um, I can also hit Q. Wait for something to come on screen. Oh, nope. That's the first level. Um, so when you beat a level, you'll get gold. I don't know exactly how you get bonus gold. I think that's just uh, the stuff from your characters. But uh, you also get gold from the round. Don't forget to loot. You have an inventory here. This is your personal inventory. You have to be able to fit everything in here. So if you go into a round carrying a bunch of stuff and you unlock three pieces of loot at the end, if you can't carry it, it just gets left there. You abandon it. Okay, so now we are into the super auto pets part of the game. Uh, this is the store phase. This is where we purchase. As you've seen, we only made $9. That is consistent uh, from what I've seen. Unless you have upgrades, you get $9 each time. Uh, you can go to the shop, which is characters here. And we can also go to equipment. So we can buy new guns, we can buy new uh, voodoo doll. If you go up here, it'll tell you what it is. It's a relic player and units will get relic bonuses just by completing or just by keeping them in your inventory. Not completing, <laughs> just by keeping this in my inventory. So in my inventory, or you'll see once I get a character, they also have an inventory. You can put it in theirs. Increase range of wear. So some weapons don't have uh, full range of the screen. So uh, they can't see them until they get within certain ranges so uh this is something we can sell so let's hold control click that and that'll sell it so now we have 14 dollars. you start out uh, also you have the upgrade page go to the upgrade page and this is all of your upgrades you want to add more people to your party right here 25 bucks to add more people right now we can only hold two you want to give your castle more armor more hp you want to heal your castle you can actually heal uh in between just by paying for it Units per roll. Units shop gives you, you plus one card every roll. So you get an extra card unlock. Instead of three, you'll get four. Uh, the shop has levels. You can level the shop up. 
And as you see, current level, there's a 75% chance we're going to get a level 1 card. 25% chance we'll get a level 2. If we level that up, uh, and this is the unit shop. These are units. So it's a level 1 unit, level 2 unit. If we level that up once, uh, if you look at next level, it says uh, we'll get a 5% chance that a level 3 unit will pop up. 60% chance level 2 units will pop up and 35 for 1. So it changes your your uh, thing all the way up to level 5. So you just keep getting better odds, you're getting better cards, and the card levels go up to level 5 as well. Uh, equipment per roll, so you get instead of 3 equipments per roll, you can get up to 5. Equipment shop level, equipment shop will stock better quality equipment. So that's a big deal too. Uh, if you want to get higher quality equipment, you invest here. And then your inventory. You can carry tons of stuff it looks like uh, i haven't put many upgrades into the inventory i haven't needed it um not yet anyway haven't needed a lot of upgrades yet so we are going to absolutely purchase i guess we have to purchase him we don't get a choice uh because they are both 25 dollars. so we're going to go with the footman footman is a fighter sustained frontline all fighters give the castle plus one hp per spell hit damn so every time they attack so we'll buy him um, he's not going to be the best right this second. This is where I said I usually like to sell this, uh, thing here. That'll get us six bucks. It's perfectly, uh, the perfect amount of money we need for another weapon. I'm going to give that to him. And now he can fight. If he doesn't have a weapon, he's not going to shoot nothing. So, keep that in mind, y'all. If you buy a character that does not have a weapon, they won't be able to do nothing until you get a weapon in their hand. Also, this is a good thing. The Voodoo Doll, it lowers the HP of all enemies by negative five. So you can get a couple of these uh, voodoo dolls and be dropping shit quick. All right, so let's start the next level. Uh, let's let it autopilot, and I'll take over when needed. Probably going to have to take over immediately because of the air units. So you do have air units as well. And I'm going to hit Q right now so you can see. It lets me shoot stupid quick. Bang, bang, bang. Ain't nothing to it. So this is like, uh, to people who don't know... Um, this is, uh, just like The Last Stand back in the day, uh, it used to be on Congregate, a game called The Last Stand. They remade it on, uh, Steam. You might have even played it, but you don't, you're like, what? This isn't like The Last Stand. Well, this is the OG version of The Last Stand. Uh, I would be shocked if the dev of this game never played OG Last Stand shocked absolutely shocked because it's the same thing except they upgraded it in, in a massive way uh instead of going out and looking for stuff you you use the shop now you know they made it more streamlined uh let's take that oh i forgot to show you the characters we'll, we'll show that on the next one all right so we got 13 bucks we have crusade we got all level twos so we can't even buy one of these people until we go here and spend 25 dollars in the upgrade so right now we need to focus on getting money. All right, so this is the higher grade Voodoo Doll. Remember the last one was uh, negative five damage. This is negative seven. If I could have bought both of them, man, shh, these two, everything will be dying so fast right now. Um, huh. Huh, huh, huh. We actually really need to save our money, but I kind of want to buy this Voodoo Doll, man. Negative seven damage is big for me. Uh, I think I'm going to buy it. I think I'm going to buy it, man. Crusader. Crusader. Also, they level up, too. See how he's one of three? Uh, so we go to him, and we look at the person. It says one is highlighted. If you have one of these guys, uh, if you only bought one, then they're going to get the footman takes the sword and thrust at nearby foes. That's it. Just if you have one. If you upgrade them to level two by buying three of them, so two more, he'll have dual swords. The footman takes his other slightly bigger and stronger sword and thrusts it too. So he does two. The next one after that is level nine. It's not level six. <laughs> so you would have to buy another six additional footmen in order to unlock that three uh, whirlwind where his axe constantly spins around him, damaging anything that comes in contact. Right. All right it's crazy it takes a lot but that sounds it, i imagine that that power is going to be op i've never unlocked that one so i don't know exactly what it does but i imagine that'd be op for the amount of money you have to invest into that um all right so now you, if you see let me do that again right click to edit so we go in this is a great addition i love this um you can select the priority i usually put them on flying because i want them to point at flyers the second they get a chance um and then you can also select the zone 
So if you got somebody who's using a weapon that doesn't hit out here, you know, if, it, if, if they're using a shotgun, they're not going to be able to hit anything out here. Well, they're still going to be aiming at it. Well, if they're shooting all their bullets and stuff out here, then by the time they get here and here, they got to reload and you just missed a bunch of shots. So when you use a shotgun guy, you'll turn off the end one out here and just let them fight here. You know, great addition. Absolutely great addition to the game. Okay. Um, I'm going to buy the Voodoo Doll. So I'm going to keep it in my inventory because I think it, it still works. Um, but I do want to test that. We'll test that right now. Yeah, they're dying in one hit now instead of two hits. So it definitely works. It will also work. I'll show you by putting it in his inventory. See how quick things die now? By buying that one thing, we might have just set us up for a couple rounds. I shouldn't be shooting at the ones that my guy is targeting. But uh, that's a habit you got to learn to break. And as you can see, sometimes it looks like I'm shooting out. See that? There was two shots that came after each other. That's what I'm imagining this little uh, passive perk is. Okay, so the after the fight. So you can keep an eye on who's really doing the most in your group. Um, by just looking at these stats, uh, just like Just King, just like um, all, all the other games that give you an after battle report, they tell you who does the most damage, uh, and and you can really really pay attention to that because that's going to tell you who should and shouldn't keep in your uh, in your um, lineup. All right, so now we got Lightbringer, Sky's Might, random unit is struck by the. Random unit is struck by the sky. Units caught in the light are burned for 15 damage over 5 seconds. Light bringer summons the gilding light which constantly burns units around it. Damn, that actually sounds decent. So that's a summoner and a uh, holy unit. Give summons of all summoners 200 HP and 20% armor. Yeah, so you can summon things too. You'll see. You'll see, man. Well, I feel like I'm going to be playing this game a lot. This was one of my favorite. Last Stand, uh, Union, not Union City. That's the new one. The old ones were my favorite games growing up. They were the first thing, first game I ever played on Congregate was the Last Stand. All right. Um, overkill, all hunters double their cast. That's not bad because there's already two of them there. But again, we um, we can't even buy someone right yet. So let's help both of these. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I've used this for one game before. So what this is, is say I have a person with a shotgun, right? I'll give this dude the shotgun, and I'll put this shield on him. So I put him in front. So with him and this shield, while he has a shield, his range is not going to be as far. He won't be able to shoot as far. Uh, but he'll the person behind him, I, whoever I put behind him, say I put my guy behind him, now his range is going to be way further. So that's actually pretty good depending on what guns you're running and stuff like that. Um, I don't need the shotgun. I like the pistol. My guy's doing decent with it, so I'm going to let that go. And this is a great uh, jungle style mags. is awesome. Like if you look at the bow, the reload time is 1.25. If you put this in your inventory, it's only 0.25. So you're shooting super fast. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy anything this round. Actually, I am. I'm going to buy the upgrade. So now we can hold one more person. I think I'm going to hold there. Is there anything I want to lock? Hunter throws a boomerang every five seconds that bounces between nearby enemies, slowing them. Maybe we'll lock the hunter. I don't think I've played around with the hunter, and there's already two of them there. Let's lock the hunter down. Throws a dagger forward every three and a half seconds, introducing the armor of the foe. Introduce, reducing the armor of the foe it hits by 10% and dealing 15 damage. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll give them a shot. I ain't never played with them. All right, let's get the level started. The wall must fall. And they have a bunch of tips. All right, so this guy's got a lot of damage. We're going to hit Q, so we kill him quick. Just trying to throw some shots around out there. Don't forget to use your Q, man. I do that a lot myself. Um act like Q's um, some big ultimate ability that you're never going to get again in this round. You can damn near use it every wave if you use it at the right time. And then leave them too. Like, you got to learn to do that too. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Um, so now I won't shoot anything. Like, I'll let my guy just kill him so I can get my Q back up, you know? 
you gotta keep you gotta keep them thing then this shit don't matter right now but once you get into um into them higher levels every second's gonna count oh so this is pretty rare i don't often get um get items usually you get this or scrap and scraps good because it's like 20 bucks in your pocket okay so let's sell the equipment first sell that now what's this do increases spell damage of the wearer so just their abilities is what I'm imagining they're talking about. So the footman takes a sword and thrusts it at a nearby enemy or nearby foes. That's what it means. Every eight kills, the holder gets, the castle gets repaired. Oh, shit. So that's a way to heal your castle just by fighting. Putting that in my inventory, we probably would get decent healing off of that, too. All right. So we are going to be getting another player. We're going to need another gun. So I think that's what we buy. We buy the gun and then we buy these two from the shop. Grants all allies knockback on attack. Oh, that's actually fire. Knockback on attack. Uh, Ice Blast slows all enemies around her crosshair by 40%. That's kind of cool, too. All right, but we already made our decision. So let's grab you. Let's get a shotgun. All right, and who's got... So this aim speed is 3.75, attack speed 1. This aim speed is 3. So I want the slower person to have the shotgun. We'll have him on bird duty. Increase spell damage of the wearer. Whose spell is better? Throws a boomerang every five seconds. Probably hits every five seconds. Footman takes a sword and thrusts it nearby foes. I'm going to give you this extra spell damage. I'll give you this just because it doesn't matter. We don't have nothing else. We don't need to lock that. I'm not worried about locking these. All right, I think we're ready for another fight. Get a uh, max HP. Let's just do that for the hell of it. An extra 5 HP. Alright, let's go. Let's get in there. Oh, I wanted to change them. I wanted to move them around on the wall. But I'll do that next time. Alright, so let's hit Q right off the jump. Oh, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought them three birds. I thought I was going to miss some of them birds. See how he's aiming at them? I should have turned the shotgun off. That's cool. Be yeah, alright. Let's see what he can do. Damn, there's the uh, boomerang. Oh, it's like short range. Damn, I was I was just about to say I ain't seen a boomerang yet. Damn, it's like a, a short range defense. I like that actually. All right, so this is the boss level. I'm getting our Q back up, getting our Q back up. As soon as it's on, we want to hit it and light his fat ass up. Lit him up. Shoot, shoot, shoot. All right, so here we have. These aren't relics. What are these called? I forget what these are called, but this is just like a boss uh, chest. Armageddon. Spawn explosions that deal massive damage to any enemies. What? It just happens? How does that work? Spawn explosions that deal massive damage to any enemies. Okay. DHS blindfold. There are things truer than sight. Aim speed plus four. Max accurate range plus three. What? Max accurate range slash accuracy lost plus three. So you can aim super fast, but your accuracy is shit. That's the way I'm reading that. Every kill, oops, sorry. Every kill, the equipped weapon instantly reloads some ammo. That's actually kind of crazy, too. I'm using the bow, so it doesn't really matter for me. But, uh, like putting that in a pistol user's hand or the shotgun user's hand, um, that could be fire, but I think I'm going to go with this Armageddon. Spawn explosions that deal massive damage to any enemies. Is that like an ability? I don't know. So I'm curious. We're taking it. Oh, no. That was it? It's a one-time thing? Bro, if, this is, if that was a one-time thing, I am mad. I just did 1.4 million damage. <laughs> oh, shit. That bomb just did 1 million damage. One, one million. Damn. I think that might have been an absolute waste of an item. Them other things would have lasted, that Reaper clip would have lasted the entire game. There's no way that bomb is a one-time use. Why would that be a thing? Like, you already kill the boss when you get it. You, you don't even need it then. 
All right, let's see what happens, man. I don't. Oh, we get to upgrade our dude though for ten. Oh, and you get a massive hundred bucks too once you beat that guy. So this is a great time for you to really plan out your moves here. So we definitely want to go and upgrade before we do anything else. Better party size. And now I'll check the equipment just so we see. All right, there's a ten dollar pistol. So if we buy somebody, oh, let's sell that. Now we got big money. So I'm just gonna buy this pistol because we know we're getting another person. All right, now let's go to the shop. We'll get them for the upgrade. That'll give us the uh, guard breaker. Throws a dagger forward every three and a half seconds, reducing the armor of the foe. Okay, so remember this because these people, their skills, why I said this is, uh, in my Steam review, I said this is kind of like just King 2 because the position of where your people are matter. It's going to be like uh, some... some um, Plants vs. Zombies type shit where he uses the his ability to dagger probably only goes down just this lane, just in front of him. So uh, you got to make sure you're putting them in the right lanes too. Um, dual swords, him in the middle, I think is good because that circle kind of takes up everywhere. You also have an archery spot up top here, which is where I'll put me for now. All right, we can upgrade this dude. Do we want to? Do we want to just try to upgrade some level ones? Try to see what happens. Oh, shit. The quick shooter. This guy matches with me. If you see, he has the uh, marksman ability. And I'm also the archer. I'm also a marksman. So we're definitely buying him as our, as our next one. Plus, he also shoots quick and aims fast. So he has a little better attack speed than most others. And if you look at his aim speed, it's 5 plus 5 per level. So he can pop off. Um... Put him up there. And now we also have the uh, additional 50% crit. Yeah, let's buy him. You know what? It is what it is. Let's just do it. So attack speed, but minus aim speed. So this wouldn't be bad on me because I would attack faster. Um, we still want his spell to do the most damage, right? Uh, this wouldn't be bad on me because the aim speed doesn't matter. But on them, it could be detrimental because they are very slow aiming until we get them upgraded at least. And then this increases the holder's damage while also increasing recoil. All right, so a little extra recoil, but two more damage per shot. Three damage. That could be nuts on him. Four damage. Four damage. I think we might buy that. I'll take this. Get this the old shoddy, shoddy dude. It's only four bucks. All right, shop, equipment, and now since we do have a little bit of money, I'm going to go ahead and roll. For six bucks, I'm going to roll and see if we can get, uh, I was hoping we were going to get one of these dudes or some of him. We did get one of these. Every three attacks, he throws a caltrop out, causes minor damage, permanent minus four armor, and slows by 15% for four seconds. That actually sounds kind of nuts. Well, what's the chances we're going to get nine of this full? Well, we'll see. Another bow's on the table. Damage potion. Uh, potions are right here. Player can choose to use this item during battle. So it's a one-time thing. So it'll last for whatever, however long it lasts. Player can choose to use this during battle. And this is attack speed. But I think it's 15 seconds, right? Now imagine it's 15 seconds. You get plus 20 attack speed. And for this, you get uh, 1.7 uh, damage. All right, I'm going to save the rest of the money we got, but we'll check out her. The Apocryphy doubles the attack speed of the friendly unit in front of her. Damn, put her in the background. If you look, the aim speed is super slow, but uh, that's kind of fire, making somebody do more damage. Every kill the Apocryphy gives a random teammate 100% bonus damage for 8 seconds. Damn, that is, this person could be really good in, in a build with like the quick shooter and, and the archer. Grenader. Grenader tosses out a grenade after getting two kills. I wonder how much damage that does. Uh, Grenader tosses out two more grenades after getting two kills. So three total grenades he tosses out only when you buy three of them. If you get the OP version of them, Grenader throws out 12 grenades after reloading. Five second cooldown. So him using the shotgun fires three shots. Every five seconds you're throwing out 12 grenades. That could be insane. Okay, but we picked what we picked. Any upgrades we need right now? Our next party 
is a hundred bucks. All right, let's get started. All right, so another thing I think is cool to do is as soon as you get in, hit your uh, hit your Q ability, and then wipe out that first one, because then you'll have it ready to go here uh, coming around for the next one. See how slow they're coming trickling in now? That's because I lit their asses up with the Q, and now I'm about to fire it again. I don't need it. Yeah, I need it. It's like this bomb. This bomb guy up will throw bombs at my wall, so you don't want him getting close at all. Him right here. We need this dude dead. Priority. Oh, we still haven't turned the shotgun. The shotguns guys range down. I wonder if we should. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down. He's prioritizing flying. I also want one more on the flyers. We'll put you on flyers. The less I have to look up at the flyers, the better. All right. Um, oh, what? A holy demolitionist? Damn. When the castle is hit, the cannon sink grants the units diagonally in front of her. Plus two aim speed. Every 10 kills, she fires a cannon salvo. Cannonball follows, follows every six shots. Damn, this sounds, she sounds, this person sounds crazy. Cannon sink. Ice mage. Ice Mage, oh, that's got to be like the glass cannon. I don't know, she just slows things down mainly. And Deadly in Inventor is a hunter. Oh, we need a hunter. Maybe we lock him up. Because another hunter will give us all hunters double their cast. Which is big for us. Every level he gets a buzz saw on the field. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we found our next person. Plus, he's going to be heal castle by 15% once we find another one. All right, so we found our next person to go in. Every three attacks from the wear, they weak lob, weak a lob arrow. That's not uh weekly lob and arrow. It's not that good. Five damage, that's not that good. So let's sell that. Let's do you in here because we don't have nothing else to give you. I think that's it. Until we get a hundred bucks, we can't really do nothing. Start it up. I'm gonna go with that Q tactic right off the jump again. Damn, they were sending back to back. They were really gonna try and break through there. One playing no games. I like the ice art style too. I imagine some people might not like the art style, but uh in my review, I kind of, I called it kind of South Parkish, which is kind of what it reminds me of. Uh, I like it. Definitely like it. it's kind of uh, dark and um, tabooish. Got another cue ready. Would we'll definitely take this kind of stuff over uh, just an asset rip, you know. Or something we've seen a thousand times. No doubt about it. Alright, that's some big money, man. We just got a hundred. Plus we got a twenty-three dollar uh twenty-four dollar shit. We got one forty six. Oh, some of the guns can come with mods. They just come with a mod already equipped. This only does two damage though. But the mod it comes with is increased range, so it's like a scope. Uh gives you extra range, one point two. Attack speed, 0.25. So, these aren't bad to buy, you know, to keep in the pocket for, like, when a boss pops up. And you might not have the uh, the team ready to take him out. Alright, so this is who we were getting. But this one's new, and they match up with the fighter, too. That would help heal my, um... Heal my, uh, castle. Reduces armor of all enemies by 25%. Damn, warlock. I don't even know that I've seen a warlock yet. Throws a needle a short distance around her, which slows for four seconds. Slow starts at 100% and returns over time. Affected targets have their max HP reduced by 25% for the duration. Damn, so so the, she's slowing and reducing HP. And reduce, slows, reduces HP, and reduces armor? What the hell is this curse weaver? Slows enemies around her by 60%. While causing them to take 10% of the current HP as damage every second. What the hell? Damn. Alright, we might. 
We might, should we switch up? Switch up and go this? Yeah, this person sounds crazy. Upgrade. Max party size. Shop. We're going to go with that. I know I'm, I probably just messed up my whole build, but I'm going to go with that. Let's go find our weapon. Find him, her. I don't know why what makes certain people hims and certain people... Cert I don't know what makes certain characters him and certain characters hers, but <laughs> that's what we're going with. Uh, I thought I was calling all healers hers before, but as you just seen, I'm calling a, a frontliner that does some magic on her, so <laughs> I have no idea. I don't want the pistol here, which sucks because I'm probably going to have to waste $8. $8 for a roll. Damn, bro. $8 for one roll? Y'all asking for crate. Oh my god, we got an even worse pistol. We could have had extra range before. Oh, and we got the goose. The goose gives you gold, man. Damn it. We got to lock him down. This And it's four gold gen. Damn, mine, the best one I've found so far was only three gold generated. This is four. Every round you get, it gets more and more gold. Who are you? A merchant. Receive 20% more gold at the end of every round. Increase the damage of all cultists by four for every three corpse on the map. Oh, that's like a whole different mechanic. Gain three bonus gold per kill the corpse dealer gets. This is somebody you need in your, you need early. I've actually played uh before with them. That that that's uh I haven't played heavily with them, but the games I played, the uh, extra early money is awesome. Okay, are we keeping this dude locked up for a fifth? Because if we're not, we need to unlock it. I like the buzzsaw idea, though. I'm going to unlock it. We'll see what else is out there in the world. We have to buy this because we don't have another weapon. But let's make sure it goes to the slowest. The slowest person seems like the footman. Now nah, I'm going to give it to, uh, to this one. Oh, and as you see, there are uh, levels. Because it's a level 2, they have two two spaces in their backpack. Alright, let's get back to war. Let's get back to... We should have a boss fight coming up here soon. I think we messed up not buying the uh, hunter. I think the hunter would have been a... Uh... Come on, shotgun. Get to work. That's what you're there for. Shotgun, shoot them skulls that are hitting my building. Shotgun, shoot them. If this guy don't get to shooting these little skulls with the shotgun, I'm going to need a... Uh... Shit, shit, shit. I cannot see him, man. Didn't hit. We're not doing good, boys. <laughs> We're not doing good. We messed the whole build up. Never switch mid. <laughs> Never switch mid build. Now, you can switch mid build. <laughs> you can switch mid, mid build. It just can't be... Uh... Right when the boss is coming up. Damn it. We just got destroyed. Uh, but as you see, I did the most damage as usual. I'm always doing the most. That's me for you. Uh, <laughs> 1.4 million. Uh, second was our hunter. We should have definitely... That thing only did 41 damage. That new character did 41 <laughs> damage. We should have definitely left out that one. And just made our current character stronger. Instead of trying to go for a new pivot on the build... Who knows what it was going to do. Uh, that was my fault. Alright. Well, that's the very first game of The Wall Must Fall. Um, the very first game that I'm, I'm putting out there anyway. Now, I wanted to do a, a second game where I put my upgrades on. So, uh, the upgrades that I like the most. There are some here um, that do a few different things. You, and I'll show you down here first. You can get a tower shield. It starts appearing. So, this doesn't just give it to you. You don't automatically get it. It just unlocks it. Um, and it, it just, all this does is increases the tower's armor by two. That costs 150 bucks, so that's, that's hefty. Uh, a spear starts appearing at equipment shop level zero. When the castle is attacked, the wearer replies with the spear. So I guess that's just some defense. Every half second that the, uh, castle is getting attacked, it'll shoot a spear at, it does 12 damage. Crossbow starts appearing at equipment shop level five. 
that whole playthrough just now that you watched, I didn't upgrade my shop not one time. So you got to upgrade it five times before you even get to see the crossbow. So I don't really suggest unlocking that early on. I don't suggest unlocking any of that right away. Um, I think the best thing on the whole board is the free reroll. Get one free reroll every shopping phase. One free reroll every shopping phase. That's awesome. So as you can see, it's a big um, tree, but not uh, everything is implemented. Like that's not in, in, there's things that just aren't in the game yet that I guess are just coming. You know, they'll be here at some point. They're just not there yet. Uh, so we want that. We want um, free corpse. I don't really know what the free corpse does. Starts every round with the corpse in front of the castle. I have absolutely no idea uh, what that is. But I like castle HP. So we'll load up on castle HP. Repair drones. Now costs 150. Starts appearing at equipment shop level zero. Every five seconds the castle gains HP. That sounds awesome. Um, I can unlock the revolver. And add it to my starting pool. I could start with the revolver. Start with a fan that knocks back people every 0.66 seconds. That's cool, but I don't know if that's a one-time use or a Dracula's Tooth. Unlock Dracula's Tooth. Find and boss chest. Every kill, the castle gains HP. Holy shit. That could be very OP. But you have to get it out of a uh, boss chest. That could be super OP. Let's just go... Uh... Let's get the revolver unlocked. And let's get Dracula's Tooth unlocked. We don't need the Star Revolver because we're not going to use it. Potions we're not using. And crossbow spears, all that we can do later. So let's return the menu. Go back to start. I, I don't know that I'm going to start this guy. He's good and I think it, the game would last a long time with him. Because you can just keep rehealing the... Alright, you know what. Nah, we'll just do it. I ain't no sense in me just talking about it the whole time. So if we're going to grab that. Let's get... Grenades are cool too. You just got to aim them and actually throw them yourself. Um, forget how much money this was worth before. These only sell for a couple bucks, like three. I think that sells for four. Yeah, we'll take the, the field repair again. Alright, there it is. Already. Already coming at me. Already missing my uh my um archer. Not seeing the two shots come out constantly or, or regularly is very uh disappointing. Very disappointing. And then also having an uh ability that I can't really do anything with until I take damage. Not the biggest fan of that either. This might not actually last longer than the archer. I don't know, man. We might have messed up picking old, uh, old repairman. <laughs> the repairman for our main dude. All right, so we got Upland Hunter. Oh, I like this person, too. Uh, Doki, Doki, gain two gold for each corpse Doki retrieves. So uh, for each person you kill, this person has a dog that runs out and gets them, and then you get money for that. Big fan, big, big fan. Let me sell my, uh... Thing here. Oh, ten dollars for that. Gotta sell this. So now we can get Battlehorn Summon HP plus armor four. We we're not summoning anything, so we don't need that. Uh yeah, let's grab the pistol up. Back to the shop. Now, because we have the free roll, I could roll this. I could re-roll this right now. I don't uh I think I want to go with this money bag and hunter over here, especially since I got them right off the right off the start. I think that'll help big time with the funds. So I'm just going to go with that instead of unlock instead of rolling it. But we'll roll it just to see what uh what we get. Oh, revolver already. Damn, I should have held off. Should have probably held off. Now, I know this shoots farther. The pistol shoots further than the revolver. So, just keep that in mind. This might do more damage. Oh, no, it doesn't. They do the same damage. This was a much better buy. Alright, at the start of your... This is good, too. At the start of the round, the units above and below the banner holder have their damage increased for the duration of the round. 
So you get an extra two damage to two people. Uh, I think I want to lock that up, man. Sapper. Rolls a huge bomb that crushes enemies and creates a huge explosion. Now that sounds fire too. Roll bomb now creates a few smaller <laughs> explosions upon detonation. Clusters now create clusters that create clusters. <laughs> clustering, clustering, clustering. Holy shit, that sounds like some crazy builds you can make in this. I'm just going to let that go. Let's get started on the next one. Move you up. I'll take the high ground. You chill right there. Let's get... He gets... Zi oh my god, I just seen something crazy. Give me a second. Oh. Just moved my screen by accident. Went a little too high on that shot. I feel like I shoot very slow compared to the hunter. Damn, NPCs are shooting faster than me, it seems like. Damn, this NPC is fire. Why are you shooting so fast? Did you get an update or something? The aim speed's on? It could be better. Hey. Oh, we gotta kill him close in order for him to get the... Gold, it seems like. Okay. Well, that's the four. Shotgun not needed. You know, we need the $25 for our next party member. The sapper's back? Maybe they're trying to tell us something, man. Oh, the merchant were blocking us. Locking that person up. Because that'll give us receive 20% more gold at the end of every round. We just got to get more money now. I do want to do a demolitionist build though. Alright, let's re-roll. I don't really care about any of this stuff. Ooh, 8 damage revolver for 10 bucks. I think we're gonna lock that one down. Oh, another hunter? That's the buzzsaw guy. I think I'm gonna lock him down too. Cause then both of these get two. You know, we get we get both of those. Yeah, I, I like that. I'm locking that down. And then all we need is a, another cultist and we'll have everything. Have everything we need. Skipping this guy this time. Alright. Doesn't make sense to buy nothing because we want to get the uh, upgrade. So let's get back into it. See how good this uh this hunter really is. I'm going to wait until they get a little closer and see if we can get some more, some more doggo kills. Bro, would you stop shooting them so fast, bro? I should have let him kill him. Yeah, you gotta wait until I guess they get to this. So maybe I... No, but making her... Making her not shoot until they get into here could be very dangerous. She's just wiping them out by herself. You're not letting your dogs hit anything, man. Your dogs need food too. Let's speed it up a little bit. I forgot to even tell y'all about the speed. You can speed it up. There we go. Get him, doggo. Yeah, hit them guys up there. That's what I gotta do. I gotta prioritize flying with her. Alright, now let's kill him. We got health. We can just heal the, uh... Heal our building. I don't even think we took a hit. 404 damage. Damn. She's popping off. The ponytail hunter is popping off. Ooh, we got another one. Lock her down. All right, so let's upgrade. Let me upgrade. Equipment, there's the pistol. So we getting you. Join the crew. Oh, no. Bonus gain three. Oh, okay. Dump. 
dumps a corpse in front of the castle for every eight gold at the beginning of the round. It's for every corpse, though. Damn, that's crazy. The synergy between these two, huh? I thought for a second I might have messed them up, but I think this is going to be a really good synergy here. He he drops drops them out in front of the place. The dog goes and gets them. <laughs> Turns them into money. Okay. Equipment. Got to sell these. Oh, we can buy the pistol now. All right, but if we are buying the pistol or the uh, revolver, who should have it? Because, like I said, it doesn't shoot as far. So if we give her the revolver she's not going to be shooting until they get closer which i guess is what we want but they could start overwhelming us you know what i mean we're gonna we're gonna start it out that way we'll, we'll start it with her with the revolver and we'll see how it goes this super slow shooting two and a half aim speed is not fast at all not at all man wish i had something else to sell we can give her a level increase her uh aim speed but we don't have that. Oh, what's this? Range finder. Negative one and a half aim speed. Critical damage plus 20. Max accurate range slash accuracy loss one and a half. Aim speed plus 1.25. What? So that's all applied to self. You're the spotter. Damn, this is cool as shit. Finds increased the range, crit damage, and aim speed of the unit in front while decreasing the aim speed of the unit of the wearer. So if I put them on me and put uh, somebody else in front, that, that th this could be crazy. You're just basically the sniper spotter for somebody. This game, man, this game's got some real cool, uh, like real life type synergies that I really like. All right, so let's spin it just for the hell of it. I'm not going to get that because I'm more worried about damage and attack speed. The aim speed is good, but uh, it takes away some, some other speed, so I'm not worried about it right now. Let's spin. There's the fan. Pushes enemies in front of the users away. Oh, it's a one-time use. Player can choose to use these during the battle. It's a one-time use. Because it doesn't say a cooldown. It just says duration. So it just happens once, I'd imagine. I don't like that. Plus two damage and recoil per shot. Huh. Oh, there's my guy. Oh, but he's not my guy no more. He's not my guy no more, man. We're of the uh, Builder Guild now. So this guy is going to be big money for us once he comes. That'll give us the uh, heal every wave. We haven't needed it yet. We haven't got touched, so... Let's jump back into it. All right, at least we got a plan here. Last time we didn't really have a plan. Well, I guess we did. I just pivoted halfway through. Oh, no. I don't have my... Uh, I don't have my extra speed to kill them, these demo guys. I don't have the extra arrows flying out. I don't have the extra speed. I don't know that I'm going to be able to, to go very far with this build. But let's see, man. Our castle can take a bunch of damage, and we can just heal it right back up. Come on. I, I knocked that shot it out the air. I'd have killed half of these dudes already. I'm going to let them deal with the air, guys. Phew. So we hit Q for the first time. Probably didn't need it right there. Oh, okay. So who's doing... Who is that? This person's doing the most damage? Oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm like, that's not an archer. Who is that dude? Who the hell is that dude doing the most damage? Who is that doing the most? Oh, what is this? Increased damage to type. Armored. One. Plus 50%. That does increase damage to armored enemies. That's chill. That's super chill. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit upgrade. I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. I'm not sure I was actually, I was really going to buy that. But still, man, I, I would have liked the option. Increase range of the wear. Doesn't matter. We're past it. 
that 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 question mark or that caution symbol sitting there man it's like very enticing all right so we buy this what could we do right now we could buy the extra person but then we wouldn't be able to afford to put him in but we could buy the extra person and just give it an upgrade because i skipped it there's no equipment i really want right this second the range would be good on 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 that maybe that's the play Try it out. That just gives range, no uh, debuff. Max accurate range. And like I said, the revolver is short range. We'll get her an upgrade. So now our aim speed is 4 plus 1.2. Um, oh, hold up. No, it doesn't have an extra level yet. Never mind. It doesn't go up until I get another one. I lied. And then we'll hold on to the $47. Cool, cool, cool. Damn, man, I do not like not being able to be a big uh, factor in the battle. Right now, even though I'm doing decent, I still feel like uh, Archer's the way to go, man. I don't know the Builder's really got it in him. But I even, even saying that, I feel wrong. I feel like I'm wrong for that. <laughs> I feel like I'm wrong saying that. But like, well, I mean, he takes damage, you just heal the damage up, right? Once he takes one hit, he's going to get some armor. All right, so let's see what happens. He got some armor. Not taking a ton of damage, and I can heal just about all of that up. Oh, so let's hit Q. Healed. Up to 75 now. Oh, no, we're dead, yo. We are dead. I forgot about bosses. Who's going to kill this boss? Me? I'm supposed to do it? I gotta kill these flying guys. I got another Q coming up. Q's in. We almost got him now. We unlocked it. Oh, so this is where you would need that bomb to go off? But even right now, I would rather not have a bomb than have an upgrade. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like last game I played, I'm like, who would want a bomb right now after you kill the uh, boss? I would rather just lose the game instead of not getting a permanent upgrade right now. This this looks like a loss. All right, but let's see what we get. Random unit gains plus three XP. So somebody, just a random unit gains three levels, I imagine. Uh, Icarus Quiver. Reduce the reload and attack speed of the wearer. Attack speed plus 50%, reload speed plus 50%. What? That seems nuts. Okay, so some of these things are just way better than others. Increases the AoE of the wearer's spells. Spell AoE 0.15. Huh. This looks like the way to go. I don't think we'll get the user. We're going to die here in a second. We're not casting off many spells. And a plus three upgrade this is doing me a whole lot for right this second. We're going to go with the quiver and then die. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so I'm not a big fan of Builder. Um, uh, so where I think I went wrong with Builder is I should have had like a pistol. I shouldn't have had the... Um, Shouldn't have took the archer with Builder, so I didn't show him off in the best way possible. But still, uh, I still believe that um, that archer is much better, man. Just just me. Um, I'm glad I said that cause, so I can show you that you can unlock other people. Um, but you have to... Oh, they did an upgrade. They already updated it. There was only uh, two people, I thought. I don't think this... Maybe I'm wrong. Don't hold me on that. I'm not 100% sure. They might have updated it. I'm not sure. But I thought it was only four people when I first seen this. But kill or have five hunters in the same party. Oh, that doesn't seem that hard to do. I think I could do that. Uh, kill 100 enemies. What? Like in total or in one game? I feel like I got to be close to doing that. Killing 100 enemies. And then you don't know. Just no text. 
Oh, no, this was here. I remember seeing that. I'm thinking of another game. I've been playing a lot of games while, while I was sick, man. So <laughs> bear with me. All right, so this is a game I'm really fond of. It will be a series. I am turning this into a series. How far can we get? How much can we beat the game? Unlocking each character. Who's best? What's the best strats? Literally everything, just because I am that much of a fan of this genre. Um, and I will let you know all, all kinds of updates and anything the dev does to the game. Um, this is early access. Remember, it will get better from here, although I believe it is at a great point to start at and it's super cheap man go pick it up uh link will be in the uh description thank y'all for tuning in y'all take it easy be safe be better people be better partners